What do you think about people in India and what they're going through? Oh, my, my heart bleeds for them. Obviously, it's a terrible situation. Though. Honestly, uh, my heart just was heartbreaking and it was almost crying because you can see like the images of these poor people just fighting and they don't have any oxygen and I don't know, it's, it's, it's crazy and it's, it's really, really bad. Well, I think it's shocking and I think every country should be doing their utmost to help in every way and not waste time talking, just get on with it. Hi, this is Norman Koshnick here again on the streets of Coogee, Coogee Bay, that is in Coogee Bay Road. As you know, we've talked to people walking past about various aspects of cricket in India. And I happen to have is it Joe, Joe Scarcello, is that your name? You should know, Norm. You and I have toured together a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, a ra it was honestly a random <laughs> meeting. He was just walking past. So Joe's here. We're going to talk about what's happening in India. First and foremost, the situation with COVID. Um, obviously, we've had the uh, postponement of the IPL and the general conditions of India. What do you think about people in India and what they're going through? Oh, my heart bleeds for them. Obviously, it's a terrible situation that, that's what's happening over there at the moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, we've been spared that sort of terrible... Um, the depths of the, of the COVID situation that, that India is now facing. So, yeah, it's, it's a terrible situation. I can't wait... For the for the situation to improve, um, my heart also goes out to the Australian residents and who are over there trapped at the moment. Um, Some nine thousand apparently. Nine thousand odd. Uh, yeah, difficult for them. Um, but you know, uh, let's, let's just hope the path. You know, this the worst of it passes as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, both Joe and I have actually done cricket tours of India, by the way. We've had a tour about, what was it, two years ago? Yeah, about three, About I think. three yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And we played at various places in, in Delhi and Mumbai. Mumbai. Had a great time. Yeah. And we know how great it is. That experience is amazing and how the people are lovely and how they, they welcome so warmly. Yeah. Okay, go back to the situation with the IPL. Now, there's some 39 of the Australian players, both players, commentators and even the, or the general media, they've made their way back here now on a special chartered flight. After what we've heard about the May 1st and May 15th banning of anyone coming back, what's your thoughts about all of that? Well, look, it's a political, um, politically sensitive situation. Uh, there are arguments for and against. Um, obviously, there were concerns about bringing um, the, the, the dire situation that is happening in, at the moment in India over to Australia. So uh, whether you agree with the government or not, uh, it's good to see that somehow or other we're getting those, those people back. Um, I, could, uh, you know, I, I personally thought it was a uh, sensible uh, you know, uh, decision by the federal government to, to do that, to limit... And, and ban the flights, but I'm also um, really glad to hear that a solution seems to be, you know, seems to have been found. And I presume that those returning from India are going to have um, isolation in a, in a particular facility, maybe in, in Northern Territory. Is that right. is that's what's happening? I believe so. Darwin's where they'll be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's great. I'm I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, you know, I'm pleased for those Australians coming back. Um, and let's just hope, you know, the situation in India generally, more generally, is, is just uh, just improves because it's a terrible situation, really bad. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe, for those. It's great to have Australians like Joe talking about how difficult it is to see India going through what they're going through. We've got a great closeness, especially from a cricket perspective and an IPL perspective. Yeah. So thank, thanks, Joe. Thanks. I really appreciate no that. No problem at all. Yeah. Thanks, Norm. This is Norman Kochnick from Eyes on Cricket. Stay tuned. Hi, it's, Norm, it's Norman Koshnick here for Eyes on Cricket uh, with Norman Koshnick. I'm actually here also talking about the situation in India. India, of course, has had a large COVID spike. It's into the hundreds of thousands of people. We also have a situation where Australia has had it. We've had something today, haven't we, Julius? Uh, we've had uh, one, but they think that guy's been around and the wives got it too, and they've been around about... 20 different suburbs. Oh, so really? They're, they're really trying to test everywhere. Wow, wow. And that's where, where Australia's also had a bit of a problem here in Sydney. But let's look at India. India, of course, has COVID 19. 
fever. It's had what three, four hundred thousand dollars, three hundred, four hundred thousand people a day that are getting new cases. They're into the millions. It's quite disturbing. Exactly. It's horrible. And I've got Julius here. How are you, Julius? Norman, yeah. Norman's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're here talking about the the, 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 re, the response that we've got and how we feel as Australians when we see India in such a bad way with the amount of COVID-19 cases they've got. I know we're about to have a spike, but isn't it terrible? What's your thoughts about what's happening in India? Well, I think it's shocking, and I think every country should be doing their utmost to help in every way and not waste time talking. Just get on with it. Excellent. It is true. It's, it's, it's talking without actually doing is the problem. There's a lot of people suggesting things to do, but they're actually not acting on it. We, of course, we had the ban from May 1st to May 15th, yeah. where Indians coming back to Australia. We made a complete ban, which was a very strong uh, point, but I think it was necessary. Yes, I, I think so, but they should have got facilities ready to bring, uh, say, citizens back. They should have done that already. I mean, it's been going on for a while. It certainly has. I mean, the fact is a country like even Europe, um, England, uh, and you've got obviously India and even the Americas have not really dealt with it very well, have they? No, no. And we're all in it together. There's no different countries. We're all together. Absolutely. And we should really be fighting it en masse. Absolutely. And it's a very good point that we're all in it together. We can't isolate one country from another and, and not help another country. We've got to work together. You're right. In terms of the way that we do our tracing and our controls. Exactly. Yeah, because I mean the Western world is so far in advance to certain countries, you know, with the medical supplies and everything. Let's just get going with it. Exactly. They've got the facilities. That's great. Thank you very much, Julius. I really, I really yeah. appreciate it. I wish everybody luck there. Yeah, thank you. This is uh, uh, Australians here concerned about India and the COVID One situation, and, and we'll talk very soon. It's Norman Koshnak. Hi, it's Norman Koshnick here for Eyes on Cricket. I'm actually joined by a Parmasani from Cricket Conversations with the Parmasani. We're again, yet again, in, on the streets of Sydney, as in Coogee Bay Road. And we've got a lovely lady here named Liz. Yes. How, how are you, Liz? Good, good. Thank you. And you? Very, very well. That's well. Now, you, you, you're you from Mexico, you were telling me? I'm from Mexico City. But we're also... Mexican food. You love Mexican food. And I'm yes. from India. Do you like Indian cricket? Oh, yes, I love it. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, that didn't look great. didn't look authentic. didn't look authentic. <laughs> Now, the reality is that we're here talking about, we're, we're lucky in Australia, we've got no masks, although that may change this in, At 5pm, I 5 think, PM yeah, we have really, to wear them again. Really, actually, masks yes. again, in shops and the like yes, as well. Yes, So yes. we're actually starting to hit a situation with the, the COVID-19 as well. But we're also talking about India. Now, India has into the hundreds of thousands of people coming out with COVID every yeah. day. Well, well into the millions, quite frankly. Yeah. What's your thoughts about India and the situation there? Well, to be honest, I think... I think a week ago I saw the the news and the first thing that I that I thought it's honestly uh, my heart just was heartbreaking and it was almost crying because you can see like the images of these poor people just fighting and they don't have any oxygen and I don't know it's 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 crazy and it's it's really really bad I really hope that it doesn't go more like badly but yeah it's it's really bad well, we of course had the travel ban here in Australia for the last two weeks, or including the next week or so, and of course the situation here is a lot better, although we've had a little spike today which we're worried about. Um, what do you see as the future of this? Do you think we should continue having bans or restrictions here? Look, I mean, in my personal opinion, I think Australia has been doing pretty well compared to everywhere, compared to even Mexico, and one of the, the things that have helped, it's that situation. Have you got you family know? here? No, I'm by myself. I, well, I moved because of my partner. My partner is from Australia. So um, it's really, it's really hard. I mean, it's really devastating. I cannot go out from Australia because then I cannot come back here. Yeah. But either way, I'm, I'm really lucky and I feel really, really lucky to be here. No, it's, it, it's certainly Australia is amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, lucky country to be in at the moment. And hopefully things go better with India. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. your time. Uh, Thank you. Welcome. Now, now Liz is actually from San Sebastian across the road here. So a lovely, lovely shop to buy clothing. Probably not for me necessarily. Oh, no, yes. We for me too? What are you suggesting? I wear a bikini or something? I'm not sure. No, no okay. everything. Actually. Okay. You've got, you got everything? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see. Well, San Sebastian, we're going to have a look at that later. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. And the partner Sandy here. We're both here having conversations with people on the street. Yep. So stay Keep tuned. Watching. See you soon, huh? Keep watching Cricket Conversation with Apana Seni and Eyes on Cricket with none other than Norman Kochnak. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Speak soon.